conclude by briefly examining a classic of the teen movie genre, the 1983 blockbuster Risky Business. The film opens with a dream sequence that nicely encapsulates the movie's plot and message as a teenage Tom Cruise walks past an open Bible and into a steam-shrouded bathroom where a mysterious naked woman stands just out of reach. And so begins the central character's journey from what is seen as the old, tired world of convention and morality into the exciting new world of sin and risky business. Every now and then, say what the f What the f gives you freedom? Freedom brings opportunity. Opportunity makes your future. Armed with this advice from his best friend, and with his parents out of town, Cruz begins to push the limits. He gets drunk, tears around town in his father's Porsche, explores perverted sex, hires a prostitute, does drugs, abuses the school nurse, and finally becomes a pimp turning his parents' home into a whorehouse and his teenage friends into paying customers. If all this weren't bad enough, the movie concludes on the note that sin and rebellion pay. His parents never catch on, and his sexual exploits end up getting him into a college that had originally turned him down. I knew you could do it. Haven't I been telling you? Every once in a while, you just gotta say, what the heck? And most incredible of all, the film blatantly mocks the young people who play by the rules, by cynically contrasting their meager profits. My name is Yvonne Williams. We sell decorative planters for seven dollars. We made a profit of five hundred dollars last month. Against the thousands made by Cruz as he left biblical morality behind. My name is Joel Goodson. I deal in human fulfillment. I grossed over eight thousand dollars in one night. Time of your life, huh, kid? Forum, and we approve this message.